Right, morning guys, welcome back to the channel. Um, so we are on day two of this rewire. Um, me and Lou are pretty convinced the house is haunted, to be fair. It's a bit weird, isn't it, mate? Yeah, it to, I mean, we walk, actually went uh, downstairs and we thought the curtains have actually then been shut again. So it's a bit weird, that was. Um, so yesterday if you have already seen the video the previous video on that uh, we stripped out the board stripped a lot of the wiring out and also showed you some of the cable that was still in use in this house um, which is madness really you've still got old old rubber cable and also some of the corded cord stuff i mean god knows how old that is um so most of that's stripped out so what we're going to do today because we've got in the cellar because like i say if you haven't seen it we fitted a temporary site board and all the rest of it. Um, so the plan is, again for me and Lou today, is we're going to try and run the socket circuit in this lounge where we are. Um, we're going to try and get that sorted because we're going to go all through the cellar. Um, and also we're going to lift up, start lifting some of the floor coverings upstairs, lifting some of the boards up and trying to get out as much as the old cable as we possibly can and perhaps drill some of the joists through but it's a bit of a mess upstairs there's loads of bits and bobs lying everywhere so but yes so it is an empty house um, and they've recently bought it and I have sort of dropped it on them when I'm coming as well so it's it's one of those we have to just work together um, so if you're new to the channel and you haven't subscribed make sure you do so uh, turn your notifications on and you can follow this whole build project as we're going so better get stuck into it okay so we're in the loft okay so we're in the cellar not the loft um i don't really know why i even said that because i'm like the furthest point away from that um so with the cellar um i'm only going to get the front section of the lounge upstairs um because it's it's about 3.4 wide in the lounge, and that's basically what I've got down here. So we're gonna have to do the front section um, down here, and then we're gonna have to figure out our cable routes all the way through. So one of the things I could do, I could clip all my cables to the bottom of the joists and stuff in here, um, which is fine. There's nothing wrong with, with doing that. Put a few fire clips on and all the rest of it. But if this was my house, and it's obviously freezing cold in here, um, I don't want that transferring straight through into my living room, so I'm actually going to drill through all these joists uh, and do it that way, so I think it's going to be better. Um, so what I think we're going to have to do is, Lou has just drilled down in multiple places, so we're going to try and find out where exactly they are, um, with using like the super rods and probably the cable tongue, that sort of thing. Um, we'll locate those so we know exactly where we are, then we'll use a... a um, laser level to go through the joist to make sure all my holes are all nice and straight basically as we're, as we're drilling through um, but I think what I'm going to do is I'm also going to get the carpet up now um, because obviously we're going to have to get up there and find out what's going on so that's my plan. You see that? I didn't think we were far from it. Cool. Yeah, another one done. Right, today's video is sponsored by Tradeify. Um, so, are you fed up with doing all paperwork and all the rest of it? Because I definitely was. I couldn't think of anything worse scribbling down a little notebooks and all the rest of it. So, what I did is I actually did a 14 day free trial, which is exactly what you should do. Is with that i gave it a bit of a run out because i was a bit skeptical at first but then i realized actually how good it is genuinely how good it is so from that we now do all our software so it does all our invoicing estimates um job management side of things so if we've got multiple jobs on the go which we always have we can put lads in the right place they know what it is they get job sheets and everything like that and timekeeping one another wicked feature that I've just discovered is when I send a quote, you can also click on a little tab to say, send the customer a text message to let them know that their quote has landed, which I think is a brilliant little feature. So for us, that has made a massive, massive difference um, because quite often, some of the times like people go, oh, I've not seen it, not received the quote. Well, we know now that they've had a text message to say, hey, you've had a great quote from Greenhawk. So if you want to give it a try, it's promo code GHAWK50, you'll get 50% off for the first three months. 
Okay, so we took the carpets up, um, well, where we need to, but the, we've just had a really long meeting with the actual client themselves. So uh, just going through locations and things like that, uh, socket locations, light switch locations, um, because they've been traveling, um, we haven't been able to go through all that, uh, to be honest. So under the floor, okay, so it's, it's literally not been used. Like in fairness, it's not been used for a long time. We had a mixture of cables that, like down here, um, so all down here that was all in amongst these pipes and stuff like that. But in fairness, all of this, so <laughs> all this was actually still in use. So that there is the actual conduit for the corded cable. So for those of you who don't know what the corded cable is, it is this stuff here. So if you can sort of see there, so that's all the old corded stuff. Uh, very, very original for the house. Um, so that is actually all still in use up until, like you say, a few hours ago. So for those, for those apprentices and stuff who don't know what that, that is, obviously there you go, that's what they, they, they used to do. Uh, and they run it all in, in this stuff here. Okay, so again, this is all the conduit here. Um, so it's all ran in, in amongst that. So I don't know whether you can see that very well. Um, so yeah, I mean, a lot, when you put it into context, there's a lot of engineering that's all in, that goes into, into doing all that, in fairness, but obviously incredibly dangerous to have that still in use. Um, so which the customer is actually really shocked about that it was still there. Um, but yeah, so like he said, it was a good job that we're doing it really. Um, so what we're doing now is we're going through lifting all the floorboards up where we need to but again it's because it's so old is that these floorboards aren't tongue and grooved okay because it was before they used to do all tongue and groove flooring so we're just cutting up where we need to uh, then we drill down with the SDS ready to get all our cables through um, so we've got there over there that one for this one, but that board has already been up. So we just thought rather than cut another one, we'll just use that. Um, also, if you can see there in that corner, so we've got um, that cable there, it's all rubber. That was still, again, in use. Um, but this area here is a bit more challenging, should we say. Um, so um, what we're gonna have to do now is cut the carpet, because like I said, the customer said, we can do what we want in here with all, with all this, because all the panelling's going, all that sort of stuff. So we're gonna cut this carpet out, get it out of the way, um, because there's a load of stuff underneath here that's staying. Um, and then we're gonna make a channel all the way through, all the way down here. Um, and then we can drill all the way through because the joists run that way, if that's right. Yes, yeah, so the joists run, run that way. Um, so I need to make a plan all the way because directly underneath me here is actually the kitchen. Um, again, we. Going through all that, there's stuff that they're trying to salvage for now uh, and obviously wait until a later date. Um, so, in fairness, there's a lot going on. Um, also in this end here, so roughly where my hand is here, there's gonna be a stud wall at some point going up um, because they're intending on putting a shower sort of thing there. So I think that, curtain arrangement used to go around a bed or something. I don't know, it's a bit, bit weird. Um, but this is my loft access, that. That's my loft access. So I don't know whether I'd even get my shoulders through, but to be fair, my customers are being really realistic with it all. And they say, if you need to make that bigger, then feel free, do whatever you need to do uh, to do the job safely. Um, same in here, so we've got, so we're just going through here. So in the bathroom, so this is the bathroom as it stands right now. Um, so we can cut up the floor, which obviously Lewis has just done. So he's just pulled that, that up. So we're up to this stage now because this is obviously the hallway where you first walk in, need to get access through. So we've got all lath and plaster ceilings below. Uh, we don't really want to mess around too much with those because we all know that dust is basically gonna end up all down on us. Um, so we'll continue this on through but again, all this is being ripped out. Um, so again, we can do whatever we need to do. Not precious about it in the slightest. Um, so yeah, so that's where we're at. So Lou is just using, how did you find that? 
yet. Not used it. So, so basically, what we're trying to get over on this bit here is we've got two joists, uh, so one there and then one there. So it's really tight. So I, I need to get one of the, you know, the Milwaukee whole hogs. I need to get one of those really. But I've just got the angle drill to whack on, and hopefully that that doesn't snap inside that, which normally happens. Um, so I'll go through loads of those. Um, but yeah, again, in here, like I say, we can. So we've got a socket going down here, so we're doing the same. So cut the carpet back, cut the floor, and then we can crack on.
Right, okay, so we're stripping this kitchen out. I say stripping it out, but the units and stuff want to be staying. The customer wants to keep these in place, okay? So we're just looking to basically, the sockets are supposed to be have one here, uh, one over to this side here, uh, and then a cooker outlet just <coughs> behind my shoulder. Um, so we stripped the tiles off, and if you can see, it is literally falling to bits. So all of this on here, we've got some major, major damp issues on there all the way along. Um, so they need addressing before, I mean, all that side just, just there. Um, so all of this literally just fell off. I took the tiles forward and it's all fell off and you know, we can't, I mean, I can't work with that. There's nothing I can do with that. So what it might have to happen is I might have to just get the first fix done um, and then, because there's no point in putting back boxes and stuff on really, I suppose, in some ways, or certainly not second fix it and stuff, because they need to stop this damp issue coming through. So that is, so just the other side of this wall is literally like an exposed gable end, I think. But I think the gist of it is that this is just a nine inch wall. Um, see, I think it's just a nine inch wall on that side, which I imagine the pointing or something is just completely gone. Um, but yeah, so it needs to be stripped back, but I don't know how you're going to do it without, because this really, the kitchen needs to come out. I mean, all this needs to come out. Um, so I don't know whether you can see on here. So this is all completely and utterly, I mean, it's like weed fix really. Um, there you see all this, that. it's all rotten and, and no good. Um, so it's a bit of a tough one, but I'm trying, trying to explain it's like it's, it, it's hard because all this paneling here, so this paneling has then been tiled over uh, behind here, it's all been tiled straight on, but we're getting our cables through up here. Um, but really this needs to all come off and the customer wants all this off anyway, but I need to take all these bits and bobs out. So I think that's a discussion for later. Um, so Lou's also taken out another unit there, which is similar sort of deals, paneling all the way on it, uh, all the way down, but obviously it needs to be, you can't, it's not a case of just sliding it out, it has to be dismantled. Um, so yeah, so it's a tough one, but these are the sort of problems that you come against um, when you're doing a, a project like this, and it clearly hasn't had any maintenance for many, many years. So I think for now what I'll do is I'll just oscillate this bit out um, down here, so we'll oscillate all that out and uh, yeah, show them what, what the crack is really. Right, okay, so another discovery. Um, so here looks like another doorway um, that we've found. So I've just been out to the other side of this and there's basically a row of bricks under there and they look like they're smiling at you. So they're like this. So the massive, massive uh, curve in there and about a meter and a half up, there's just a huge crack in the render that's, that's dropping down. So I know this is, you know, these are just problems that you find. Um, so we've just called the client down. Um, so they've just been in and we just had a little chat about this. So um, her husband's gonna be coming down uh, tomorrow to discuss what needs to happen. But we're finding more and more damp issues. Now I know you're thinking, oh, what's that gonna do with the electrical problems, all that sort of stuff. So part of our company is to, if we have a problem, we can't just leave it. You know, we, we will endeavor to try and come up with a solution all the way through. Now you might be thinking obviously for the electrical side of things, 
So if you have a buildup of damp and moisture, so long term back boxes, things like that, they're going to rust and, and rot through. Um, also a buildup of moisture behind the sockets will also cause nuisance tripping as well. So we need to get to the bottom of whatever this issue is um, and you know come up with a plan really. So that's what we're going to do. So all upstairs, we're all, all done and dusted. So we've got all our cable runs sorted so we've drilled down where we need to we've drilled all the joists out so we are literally ready to start chucking cables in um, but now where Lou's just took out the unit on that side there's also more damp issues there um, we're going to take this little unit out which is just to to my left here um, so we're going to take this little unit out that's there um, and it, I dare say there's going to be more damp issues there so realistically We've just said the place just needs stripping. Um, so stay tuned. If you like, say, if you've not yet subscribed, make sure you do so. Um, there are links in one of these corners. I can I can never remember which one it is. Um, but turn your notifications on, and you'll get a little message to say that we've uploaded another video, and you can watch this whole job unfold. So whichever way it takes us, I don't know. So. We'll soon, soon find out, but thanks for watching. If you've enjoyed it, make sure you give us a thumbs up. Leave your comments below. If you've got any questions about why we've done it this way, then, you know, I'm all for it. Right, take care, guys. See you soon.